Hi, welcome to Data Engineering and in this video today we are going to discuss about how to integrate Apache Spark with Apache Hive. So here we are going to do a kind of a POC, a proof of concept that uh, I'm going to read Hive tables in Spark and then I'm going to do all kind of transformation in Spark so that my processing will be faster compared to doing the same in Hive. Okay, now how to enable the integration between Hive and Spark and that's that's what we're going to discuss and what is the prerequisite for this. So you need to install Hadoop, then you need to install Hive and then you need to install Spark. So for these three installation, I have a separate video and I'm sharing that uh, video link in the description box of this video. You can have a look. Now, once you have done with these three installations, then what is the next step is you have to open your bash rc file which will be in your home folder bash rc file is where we set all our environmental path and variables so in i am using uh, linux os ubuntu so in ubuntu the file name is bash rc just open this go to last line of the file where you can see like i have all the uh, environmental variable and path whatever I'm, I'm installed I am just setting it here like Java home so what are all the properties you have to set I will tell you but but if you have already installed Hive Hadoop and other stuffs right you would have done this already but I, I'm repeating it again I'm repeating it again so you need to set Java home Hadoop home Hive home and Spark home for this particular exercise and finally please add this path and uh, like path variable and add all your uh, variables uh, with dollar with slash bin in your export path so this is important so once it is done just save this file escape colon wq and then you have to execute this file the command for execute is I repeat you have to execute this file dot bash or c that is source space dot bash or c or you can give dot space dot bash or c okay <clears throat> so once this is done just open a new terminal and then start your hadoop change your directory to hadoop your installation directory and then you have to use this command sbin slash start iphone all dot assets to start your hadoop so once it is started just execute the jps command and see whether all five demons has been started so once this is done now you have to change your directory to apache hive and then just start your hive shell bin slash hive is your command to start your hive shell okay and if you see here when i give show tables i can able to see all these table name so i haven't created any database so the default database name is default so if you want to create a database you can create a database then you can uh, use the database with the command of use the database name and then you can create a table or directly you can create a table under default database if there is no database selected that is default okay and the database name is default now here i have these many tables and you can see there is one table called test so let me just show you if i select star from test i can able to see only one record one column and one row this which is just one the value if i describe it you can see here i'm just describing it at this i'm having serial number so i haven't create I'm, I'm i'm not showing here how to create a table so like you 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 are aware of it i believe or you can uh, uh, so in my hive installation video i'm showing i have showed how to create a table also or you can google it for creating a very simple structure of table and just insert a record so that we can uh, we can read it from uh, spark okay so now this is done now the next step is like you have to start your spark shell <clears throat> so just change your directory to spark and then use this uh, command bin slash spark shell so i am going to show you how to do this uh, hive spark integration through shell so in our next video i will show you how to do the same in some ide like intellij or eclipse uh, how to write a full fledged scala code to do this or java code to do this in my next video okay now i'm gonna show you the same but in shell okay so before you start okay you started spark shell so that directly i can uh, read the hive tables from here no you can't you have to do two more steps to achieve this so the very first thing is like go to your hive folder okay so which is which, which will be in your home wherever you have installed it uh, in my case it's in home but wherever you have installed it just go to your hive folder you will be seeing a folder called the conf just open it and then you can see hive-site.xml if you have already installed hive then for sure you have configured this hive-site.xml so conf if if you have configured it already just you will be seeing this file in your hive folder copy this hive-site.xml and go to your spark folder again in my case my spark directory is in my home folder i'm just i'm just open that folder and then you can see there is a folder called conf in spark open this 
and then you have to paste your hive-site.xml here so that means you can see here so then only your spark will come to know like what are all the configurations that you have given for your hive okay this is first step there is one more step to complete this process now come back to your spark folder and there is a folder called jar just open it and you can see there will be a jar called mysql okay so mysql connector so this jar by default it will not be there in your spark jar folder so you have to download this mysql connector and then you have to paste it inside your spark jar folder the reason why we need this mysql is my hive meta store is getting stored in mysql database and that's the reason i need mysql here and you are already aware i hope so mysql meta store will be get stored mysql meta store data will be get stored in an rdbms database only okay so if you have configured hive meta store for mysql then you need mysql connector in spark jar file if you have configured hive with any other rdbms databases then you need to uh, download the respect connector jar like oracle means oracle connector or any other uh, db2 means db2 connector you have to download that particular connector and then you have to paste it here in my case i am using mysql for hive so i have downloaded hive connector jar so once this is done then you can just get into your spark shell now what i am going to do you can see spark session is already created uh, in the name as spark so i am going to use the same val a equal to so i don't want to create a spark session but if in case you are going to write a spark code in an intel in id like intellij or eclipse then you have to take care of writing uh, creating the spark session maybe it will take two to three more lines of code where you have to enable your hive support uh, function there is a support function to enable hive so those things are not required when you are doing it in shell but if you are writing as a code in an id it's required so as i told you i will show you in my next videos how to do that in some id so now spark.sql and then you have to invoke dot sql spark dot sql and then within double quotes you can select your hive table select star from test okay and that's it so here you need to give database name dot table name so my database name is default default dot test so i haven't selected any database for creating table in hive and that means it is default if you have any custom database name then you have to specify it here else it will say like table not found okay so minus default dot test enter so once this is this line is executed the a is a variable name by which you can invoke an action for example show so you will be you will be seeing the data so just like we can wait for the command to get execute okay so now a dot show is the action which i'm triggering so now your spark job will be get started <laughs> okay now you can able to see my uh, data one right so the same what i showed you here in hive when i select i will show you again so select star from test one and the database tab, uh, column name is serial number so we can able to see it here and that's all so this video is agenda is just to show you the connection but in my upcoming video let me show you like come some complex queries like joins between two hive tables in spark and uh, performing some other transformations and actions uh, kind of an interesting thing i will show you in my upcoming video so thanks for watching data engineering if you really like this video please do subscribe channel and forward this to your friends and colleague and please do forward this in your or, uh, like share this in your linkedin profile as well and we do a lot of other tech videos not only big data like hadoop spark we do have like python java cloud computing and aws and many other videos just have a look and we provide videos in two languages english and tamil thanks for watching